Good morning. I'm out here in the shop uh, doing some serious cleanup. It's a mess out here. And of course I have some adult deficit detention, whatever it is, or I got distracted. But uh, one of the things I got to prepare for for maintenance in uh, wintertime operations, plowing, salting, is having my saw ready. If I can't get through a roadway, you know, snow loads on limbs and they're in the road, I've got to clear that to be able to get through and do the job. But other times of year too, windstorms and all that, I keep this saw on my truck all the time and want to keep it ready to go. Uh, this saw, uh, Husky 455 Rancher, uh, if you can see on the tag, if you wanted to zoom in, this was manufactured in February of 2000. I've had this saw for 20 years, or excuse me, 22 years now, almost 23. And it cleared the property here where I built the shop. It's cut trees out of roads in the community all over. It's been on a wildfire too. It has really been an awesome saw. Uh, very reliable. But one of the reasons it's reliable is since this come out, this is all I use. And what's really neat about that is uh, I'll show you my case here in a little bit. I carry stuff with me. But uh, this has been excellent. Haven't had any trouble starting even after I haven't started it for a while. Uh, as we go through the maintenance kit, I was really started with this for, but just a simple old tune-up kit. Where I got everything out of it came with a filter here, came with an air filter, and a spark plug. But if you can see this spark plug, it really, there's nothing at all wrong with it. And I've had this, I've changed the spark plug before, it's been quite a while but it is in pretty much perfect shape and part of that is because of that fuel it just doesn't leave the carbon deposits behind and a lot of other gunk and i've had such reliable starting um really almost forget about it so i'm going to go ahead and change it anyway uh, and i'll keep this just in case something happens I'll, i've got a, actually another spare one in my box that red box there but i will take light sandpaper let's say like a high grit and just rub in between that without changing the gap or anything but just Brush it off. It's still an electrical connection arc between the two things. But anyway, um, comes with that in the kit. I have already taken off the air filter, and you can see the difference in the air filter. Oh, it's pretty pretty gnarly, and it gets to a point where this you can clean these, um, you can rinse them, start a cleaner, some other stuff like that that you can clean them. But it's just time to to do this when it needs to go. Uh, the only thing that didn't really come in the kit that I was kind of hoping it would, uh, and I think actually it's in here somewhere in a box. I've had this kit for a couple months. Uh, the primer bulb is here somewhere. This primer bulb right here is sluggish. It's not too bad right now, but in the wintertime when I'm out, you know, cutting a tree out of the road in the ice and snow coming down, this thing was so sluggish, it really wasn't hardly coming back out. So that's going to get replaced, and it's somewhere here in the shop. I don't know where it's at. Um, so we're going to replace the spark plug. Here is where the air filter goes. Simple goes on there, and this snaps back in place. That's super easy. The other thing is the, uh, excuse me, the fuel filter kit. I'm going to try to shine a light down in there. Maybe we can see it. Yeah, right down there. It actually looks white and clean, unlike the other stuff that I've had mixed fuel with, and it is white and clean because of that fuel. <laughs> so, honestly, that you spend a little bit more on that fuel, but man, it really saves the money in the long run, I think, for uh, making your saw last. Uh, you'll notice a lot of oil around the bottom, especially here throughout the end of the fall and so on. This is prepped most of the time for wintertime operations, so I don't... Typically use regular bar oil when I'm in cold. If I'm down in the single digits or teens out having to saw a tree out of the road, I just use regular motor oil in there. Uh, it will run out of the port and weep, so I keep pads beneath it in the truck in my side uh, compartment. Uh, but then if it was going to be hot, like a hot area for a long time, so I would change it out to some regular bar oil, but most of the regular bar oil just almost becomes like honey kind of sticky when we're down in some of those cold temperatures but uh this is maybe the second bar that i bought for this thing um i keep an eye on the rail 
everything with it. Maybe I'll do another video sometime on the bar and chains. There's a lot out there. There's a lot more information about the dogs and depth guide and all that on it. But this chain is in pretty good shape. Uh, I don't worry about sawing these when I'm out doing operate or excuse me, sharpening them. I have extra chains in my box. I'm just going to change it out and move on later and I'll look at sharpening this later. But the other part here is this is my little craftsman box dad gave me a long time ago and I've carried this with a saw almost since I've had it. So in here I will fit my chaps. And look, I'm going to tell you uh, even if I'm sawing at the house, I'm not saying this because I'm on video, but if I'm sawing some limbs here at the house or bucking up some stuff, even when no one's looking, I'm going to wear these chaps. Um, I was ingrained with that with the Forest Service, uh, working on a hotshot crew, and watched those save a guy's leg. Um, I just believe in them, and I'm going to wear them no matter what I do. Uh, I've got some brand new wedges that I had stuck in here from last year, hadn't used them yet. And I've got some old wedges that have been beat and hammered on and all that. <coughs> Brand new extra chain, a uh, couple, two or three T-tools, extra spark plug, um, just whatever going with this. But this box goes with the truck everywhere it goes. Uh, so I, hopefully I can find the primer bulb and get that on today too. But man, I just got a mess out here, so I'll carry on with it. But whatever it is, it's very simple for these kits. Doesn't buy you one, get it. Uh, a novice person can do this. You don't have to be. You don't have to be adjusting things or anything to make your saw run well most of the time. The only other thing I know I'm going to do maintenance-wise. So if you can see down on that, I'm going to call it a stator. I don't know the right term for it, but that around there with electromagnetic as it turns to create the electrical pulse. Uh, that looks a little bit dirty to me, and I always clean those. So I'm going to clean that up. Should be better running, better starting with that too, but. Just some simple seasonal maintenance stuff for you. Take care of your saw. Love it like it's your own. Have a good day.